everybody video here for you today this is my second video of the day i will leave a link to my first one dendal doing a great cover of killing me softly and for new subs i also upload music videos i've been doing that for six years now i like my channel to be not just ancient history and if i just talked about ancient history and just uploaded that stuff to my channel i think i might get a tiny bit bored i like doing other stuff besides history but history that's certainly what we are going to cover today. We're going down to Tennessee. This is a place I covered three years ago, the Pinson Mounds, and they are right down here. Some of those videos I did three years ago. I'm redoing some of them. I just didn't like the way they sounded. But this seems to be a very important place in ancient America. It goes back about 2,000 years. There is a museum in a reconstructed mound right there, and it connects to Saul's Mound right there. That is one of the larger mounds we have in ancient America, conical mounds. Let's just do some reading, take a look at some pics. Now I will leave many links below. Here is one, the Pinson Mound State Archaeological Park. I have covered more than a few sites in Tennessee, the Castellana Springs Mound site, the Shiloh Mounds, Ice House Bottom site that is 9,500 years old is, and is now at the bottom of a lake due to dam construction. A few others, but here is LIDAR. Here is Saul's Mound right there. There is a museum. You see some other mounds scattered throughout the park here. There is also miles of earthworks around this place. And this place was made into an archaeological park about 50 years ago. Now we'll take a look at some pics. Here is Saul's Mound. This is considered the largest conical mound, I believe, in the whole United States. And the Pinson Mounds is the largest mound site in Tennessee. Here is Osier Mound in the snow. Pretty good sized mound right there. There are the twin mounds. I believe burials were found in here. Old look at the twin mounds with trees growing on them there. Here is a mapping of the site. Here is Saul's Mound right there, conical mound, but in the form of a square on the map there. Not sure why, but you see the mounds are kind of all spread out through the site here. Earthworks down in this area and a few other places. Here's another map. Here is the winter equinox alignment from Saul's Mound. Just like all ancient cultures, the mound builders were observing the heavens, but they looked over a mound right here. At a special day alignment right there. Another look. Here is a granite pendant from burial number four. Found in the twin mounds. Here are some rattles. Found burial number five. We will talk about those rattles in a second here. Here's excavation work done on the twin mounds. I believe this was done a couple decades ago. Here's a website that talks about ancient Tennessee. And they talk about the mounds and the burials. It says, oftentimes the burials that are inside these mounds contain the prized possession of the person that died. Jewelry, gorgets, pendants, ceremonial pipes, and medicine tubes were found. It says one of the largest woodland archaeological digs is the Pinson Mound site a few miles south of Jackson. Both burial, burial mounds and ceremonial mounds were constructed on this land by the woodland people. Today it is a state park. The Saul's Mound stands 75 feet tall, so that is a very large construction. It says other mounds contain burial tombs. The twin mounds are two mounds that are joined at the bottom. They stand about 20 feet tall. When archaeologists dug into one of the mounds, they found six tombs. In one tomb, they found eight females aged between 20 and 30, each of them wearing a headdress and copper jewelry. Just reading a little. On what is written about this site, it says, Despite a lack of written record, anthropologists have unearthed a lot of information from the site and have used strong arguments for the Pinson Mounds being used for religious purposes, likely celestial in nature, and maybe even a significant destination point for pilgrimages among various groups associated with the Hopo culture. Some of the mounds were used for burial, but the majority served another purpose. Saul's Mound, the tallest mound in the complex, may have been an observation point with some of the other mounds used to orient towards specific astronomical events like the equinox and the summer solstice. Like Old Stone Fort shares similarities with Fort Ancient, Pinson Mound shares similarity with the Newark earthworks of the Hopo culture located in Ohio. In particular with Eagle Mound, most of the artifacts found at Pinson Mounds were likely made close by, but by the contrasting style of the pottery and other artifacts suggest the site was a meeting place of a widely distributed groups of people. Taking a look at a few more pics, here is the entrance of the site. Seems to be well maintained. 
There is Saul's Mound. That is reminiscent of the Adena Mounds. They say the woodland people built here, but were they just descendants of the Adena? It's a little muddled and a little confused when you put everything together in ancient America. Here is a boat found at the site, used probably 1,500, 2,000 years ago. Here's a saber-toothed cat skull found at the site, a Smilodon. They went extinct at least 10, 12,000 years ago. Some more artifacts found at the site. Here, now these are these rattles. These were found in the Twin Mounds. These rattles are made from human skulls. There was pebbles put inside of them, intricate designs, and they were found around the knees of one of the burials. So you can just put your own comment what that was all about down below. A lot of these mound sites around the middle of America have history going back, all the way back into the Younger Dryas period. Here is just some depictions of what they think early life may have looked like. Here is a stone pipe from Roan County at the Tennessee Museum. There is a shell gorget from the Mississippian period found in Tennessee. Here is a very old pick. I think this comes from about 70 years ago, a Saul's Mound, when it was just covered with trees. Here is a look from on top of Saul's Mound, and this is a great vantage point from the whole area around here. A lot of these conical mounds, and especially the Adena Mounds in Ohio, are built up on high perches so you can see them from miles around. There is a look at the museum built into a reconstructed mound. I believe that is the story there with that mound. But that'll give you a look at an ancient America site from the vantage point on top of the tallest mound here, Saul's Mound. And there is another old pick of Saul's Mound. I believe this one comes from almost 100 years ago. Here's another website I will leave below. And LIDAR is becoming so important in detecting these archaeological sites, especially involving the mounds. But I will leave this link below. You can just kind of touch here and go to the different sites in the Pinsa Mounds. Very cool website. And I will leave the link below. Here are a few more artifacts found at the Pinsa Mound, some stone tools, some projectile points, more projectile points found. I'm sure this place was sacred all the way through to the current era. Here is some small bone rattles found at the Pinsa Mounds along with those skull rattles. Very interesting place here. I just thought the Pinsa Mounds was a good one to review today. This seemed to be a very important site, one of the largest mounds conical mounds in ancient America. And these skull rattles are very interesting, the designs on them, the fact that they're made from human skulls. But here's a look at some other skull rattles found in other parts of the world in Tibet, Nepal, and then the ones found at the Pinsa Mounds. That's another video on ancient America, pretty important site in Tennessee. If any of you have been there, leave a comment. But I will be going back to ancient America, ancient Egypt in the upcoming videos. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very nice day.